What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this series review started. Alright y'all. Well, isn't time flying? I'm already on season 14 of the Mahabharat and I was a short season only three episodes long but boy did a lot of stuff happen in these three episodes did a lot of stuff happen I mean first we left off we were at you know the Pandava's new palace and all the kings around were showing up to perform that ceremony to make you know you need an independent nation and an independent king and and of course, you know, that mean Princess Ayesha Kunni and, and even Bhishma and, and Kunti showed up. So they are there. Uncle Andu Yudar, he's there. The ceremony thing. And I guess there was at a point, I'm not too familiar how the ceremonies go, but they, I guess they needed someone to kind of stand up for them. And, and the two people there that they said was like Bhishma and Krishna, right? Just to kind of stand up for them. Bhishma's like, oh, not me. I represent Hansa Per, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, Bhishma, all right. So, of course, Krishna steps up. Wow. We already discussed how that guy, what's his name? Shish, Shishupal. We already discussed how Shishupal don't, and Krishna don't get along. They don't like each other. Well, Shishupal wasn't having it. He already made a plan with the mean prince and all to, to stop, make like disruptions and stop the ceremony from going. And that the mean prince would have his back if he did. He already had that plan in his pocket. But what are, they had Krishna there and they're washing his feet. He just gets out of control. We know he has his little things with the misdeeds. He got a hundred and, and he, he counts them by the peacock feathers and all that. Well, he jumps up and he's going to act a fool up in there. Just going off on everybody. Going off on Krishna. Going off on the Pandavas. Even going off on Draupadi. I was like, oh no. You're going to get those pit Beam Arjuna. They all wanted to kill that guy after that. Krishna was just sitting there. He's like, go on with your insults. Sh 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 Shishapal. Go on with your insults. He even give him a little heads up. He's like, oh. You're going to keep going. You, you, listen, you're running out of misdeeds. Shishapal. You're... And remember, Shishapal's like, you ain't telling me I'm going to run out of misdeeds. And then he's still going on and on and on. Till the point he's throwing these feathers every time he, he says something mean. And then he gets to that last insult. Oh, what did it happen? You ran out of feathers. Oh, yeah. You already ran out your hundred misdeeds. Shame on you. You should have been better. But no, you was too overcome with your anger. And you wanted to just disrespect everybody in that place. Krishna. <laughs> Krishna got, you know, Krishna said, oh yeah, out of feathers. He said, here's a little thing there. And everybody's like, oh, I was even like that. I was like, oh, and then all of a sudden you see, well, I think I got though the scene from this. Do I have it? Oh yeah. I think I got the scene where, when you see our Lord Krishna kills him. You already watch this with me because I'm telling you, I had to rewind it even to watch it a couple times. Let's go. There he is. This thing, shh. Look at his eyes. Oh! That head came, <laughs> that head come flying off. And his body was jerking there. Oh, it was kind of gross. It was kind of gross. And then the best part was that blood got on that mean prince. It got on his belly. <laughs> He's still, his body's still jerking. Look at that. I mean, like, they still going, they still showing us through that. Everybody's, everybody's in shock. And there it comes back. There it comes back. <laughs> He's still up there. And, just, <gasps> and then his eyes are crossed. Oh, that's right, Krishna. Shishapa. He warned you, too. You can't even say nothing. Krishna warned you. He's like, don't you run out of misdeeds. And he was just sitting there so calm. 
He was just sitting there so calm, Krishna was, listening to all the insults that that shish palm wants to give. And when he and he was just waiting for him to run out. He knew he was gonna do it. That you know, Prince didn't like it. Remember, he gave well, he gave his his word to him was like, I'll have you back. And he wants to jump up. That was my friend. Ba 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 ba. Don't do that. And then even Shakunti was like, Sit down, my darling, because he's he's holding the tongue, calling my darling. So he's like, Sit down, my darling. And then you know, push Shakunti to the ground. I was like, Oh, that's your brains of the operation there. And you think you're going to know some stuff now, mean king, mean prince? And you done push your brains down on the... Oh, we knew it was going to end up bad. And it did. Because <laughs> they want to come out and and talk about... Where, I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, want to duel with you, Krishna? He wanted to duel Krishna. I was like, you going to duel Krishna? Krishna going to destroy you. Did he not... You not see that little thing flying around when cut off his head? And you just got a little mallet here? He can fly that thing... Krishna is going to destroy you. You're going to mess with the gods. You're going to mess with the gods with the duel. You you better be ready for the horns. Then it come firing back up his face because they're like, oh, you can't. Well, oh, the uncle stood up. The uncle Vidar, he was like, oh, no, you stop right now, mean, mean prince. You can't have weapons, pull your weapons up in somebody else's court. That's that. You need punishment. I mean, we've seen it before. Remember, RG want to pull out his weapon, wanted to fight. Uh, Karn at one time, and they gave him a punishment, made him wash the feet of Karn. Well, we at luck. They're going to have their punishment that time. And then, of course, Yudi. Oh, I don't want to punish my brothers. I don't want to. I mean, Yudi's nice and all, but he's too nice. I'm like, you got to trip. These brothers need some punishment. That's their problem. They never got a good spanking. They tried to kill Beam. They tried to kill your whole family, your mom, and you don't want to punish them? <sighs> Andrew Potty. Drapati's gonna be like, well, I have a suggestion. Take their weapons. Ah, oh, that 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 you know, prince didn't like that. They were like, what? He didn't want to give it up, cause for well, first, you know, Arjun was there, gave Karn the the arrow, bow, the bow and arrow, you know, his bow. Then they had the other brother gave it to one of the twins, Pandavas. But then there was that mean prince with his mat, and Beam was like, <laughs> he took that, and and remember that prince was like, whoa. Oh, and he stormed out of there. I know I have a, a clip of that too. We're going to watch that. We're going to watch that together. Y'all ready to get this started? Let's go. Okay, they, pull, they pulled out the hand and he's going to be, what? I got to get my weapon. Oh, you can tell that was tearing Karn apart too. Look at him. Poor Karn. Karn. Okay. Oh, that's when Bean pulls it out. And he's like, what? And then he goes storming off into the water. <laughs> now this is the thing. You see right there, he was mad because what? what is it? They thought, they think, like, so that it looked like the servant, like, you know, Draupadi's handmaid or so, whoever she is, said like, oh, so the, the blind king's son also blind? <laughs> Remember, she, they made that comment. And she fell in the water. Well, he turned around. He thought it came from Japati. And, and she was just smiling. <laughs> she was. Because you know everybody. That was funny. That was a funny comment there for, from, the may, from the mayor. But he thought it was her. I was like, oh, no. Here's where it starts with him and Japati. Of course, he goes back to his place. And, and he throws a little temper, temper tantrum there. Wanting to burn down the place. I mean, he gets that from his dad. Remember in the beginning when... When, uh, what was it? Oh, when the uncle said that, um, when the uncle, or the brother, when the brother, it was his brother, well, uncle Vidar, you know, said that he, a blind man couldn't be the king and he couldn't crown the king. And he went storming off and he was throwing fire everywhere. Remember when the blind king did that? Well, I was like, well, now there's the mean prince doing the same thing, wanting to set his whole room on fire, talking about he's going to commit suicide. I was like, there you go with your little tantrums. There you go with your little tantrums. Lion King coming in with, <laughs> you know how he does. He's <laughs> He starts doing all this stuff. No, don't kill yourself. I'm going to cry. I'm like, D go ahead, do it. That's the whole thing. Go ahead. Of course he don't. Of course he don't. And then they're like, well, we're going to get him back. And, and then that's when the brother's like, well, how? Because you done insulted the uncle Shakuni, the smartest man here, the one with all the good plans, the one 
who you know gives even Krishna rival in in the in the, the intelligence department. You're gonna go. You already done threw him to the ground. He's going back to his kingdom. So you better go apologize, and he does. He like stuck there. I'm sorry, Uncle. That's kind of where it left off. He, him and Shikani will make up, and and I guess they're gonna have some plans coming. Which I, this next season, what? Because what season is this? This was season fourteen. So fifteen. I don't even want to watch. <laughs> I don't. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It's the dice game and 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 Drapati and Yudi done losing everything and them trying to disrobe Drapati. Oh, I know it's coming. I don't even want to watch it. Like this is, <laughs> it's going to be hard to watch. This season's going to be hard to watch. All right, y'all. But let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time. Mwah.